Well, all good things must come to an end. I know. I miss that old church. I was talking about the football season. Oh, yeah. It was fun watching the drum line. Basketball season has started, and... And it's almost Thanksgiving break. So, it's time for another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News. Welcome to the fourth edition of the Nightly News with stories on BACC and band. I'm Haley. And I am Hannah. They march at halftime and they keep us pepped for basketball. It's Field Quest Band. I'm Delilah and I'm with Connor. So Connor, how long have you been in band? I've been in band since the fifth grade. Been doing the same stuff for like six years now. How has Drumline been doing this year? Um, pretty good. We got a first place trophy at our first competition of the year. And, you know, we've been ha having extra practices in the mornings and late at night. And we've just been working hard and it's been paying off. What responsibilities do you have as percussion? Um, basically keeping everyone focused, making sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, it's not a huge responsibility, but it takes a little bit of effort to make sure everyone's on the same page and that no one gets left behind, no one falls behind, and basically the biggest thing is keeping everyone focused. All right, thank you for your time. I'm with Peyton. So what instrument do you play and how long have you been playing it? I play the trumpet and I've been playing it ever since fifth grade. How do you think the freshmen are doing this year? Um, They're actually doing really well. They're exceeding a lot of expectations. They're doing better than the freshmen last year, especially Jacob Torres. And how long do you plan to be in band? Um, probably just another year until I'm done with high school, and then after that I'll probably be done. Hi, I'm Delilah, and I'm with Grace. So Grace, what do you do in band? I'm the drum major. And what exactly does the drum major do? So during marching season, I will lead the band onto the field for our halftime show, and I will conduct them to make sure everybody stays together. And is this your first year being drum major? It is indeed my first year being drum major. It's been a wonderful experience. Nikolai. So Nikolai, do you participate in marching band? Um, I like to think I do. Um, I'm there most of the time, so I, I would definitely consider I am in marching band. Do you play any other instrument other than the saxophone? Um, I do play the harmonica, and I did learn it for the Piano Man song. I also play the drums every now and then, you know. Okay. Um, what's it like being in marching band? It's it's a great feeling to be like around people that are accustomed to you since you've been with them for so many years. Um, it just feels like a very big family. Those long bus rides singing and then screaming when you win first place. It's a good feeling. I like it. And um, one more question. Why are you always late? So this question was never brought up to me. <laughs> this question, I'm never late. I'm never late to marching band. That is a lie. I am never late. Give up the good word, band and drumline. They either arrive later in the morning or they leave at the beginning of lunch. Let's take a look behind the scenes at BACC. Today we have a story on BACC. We interviewed the principal of BACC and a few students that are enrolled in BACC. What is BACC? Well, Haley, uh, BACC is, stands for Bloomington Area Career Center, and what we have is a group of regional programs or classes that students can take as electives that are usually unique from what the typical high school is able to offer themselves. So um, we get kids in from up to 17 high schools a year. We have over 700 students here that are exploring different careers and taking different classes and programs that um, 
typically the home high school can offer, okay, such as uh, CNA nursing class, uh, firefighting and EMT basic, con uh, construction trades class, and some of those types of things. What can you achieve by taking a class at BCC? I think a lot of that is always up to the individual, okay, because the individual and what they want to put into a class um, is what they're going to get out of it to an extent. But um, students in general um, are able to achieve or earn dual credit, okay. A lot of that is with Heartland Community College. We got a little bit with ICC and East Peoria and a little bit uh, with Juliet Junior College. They can also earn certifications. So students leaving could have an industry recognized certification that can help them get a job um, right out of high school if they so choose or a job that they could work while they're in college. In addition, um, students are able to gain experience and explore a career to determine is this something I want to pursue when I'm older or after high school. Um, and I think that's a huge win for high school students. How well are BACC students received compared to other trade schools? Well, compared to other schools, again, um, it's always what the individual student puts into it and stuff. I do know, though, that a lot of our students with the certifications they earned can get jobs that other students can't get, okay? You have to have a CNA certification to work as a certified nurse assistant, and if you don't have that, you can't get those jobs. And we have a lot of kids working in all the communities that we represent, um, for example, as CNAs, okay, or certified nurse assistants. Um, also, for a student to be able to say, I've helped build a house, okay, with uh, Bloomington Area Career Center, that's going to help a kid get a job, I think, or a student get a job with um, a construction company, for example. So we get a lot of um, employers calling us looking for people, and um, we try to help fill those needs, too, and uh, be able to recommend uh, especially our best students. We do even have a few uh, students that are firefighters on local Bloomington normal departments that have gone through our programs years back, as well as a lot of kids like in the volunteer departments that are very much needed. What course do you find the most interesting at BCC? <laughs> They're all interesting, okay? I can't name just one. I'm fascinated by, one, the expertise of the teachers, and uh, two, what the students learn. And um, I love going into the classes and seeing the variety of different things they've learned. I've learned so much. I've been in this job for a while, 12 years or more now, and uh, the, between the tech technical terms I've learned, the stuff I've learned in the auto and firefighting class and the EMT basic class, and watching the kids do it, I'm honestly hiring kids. Um, I've had kids come out to my house and work on my house uh, from our construction class because of the skills they have and such. So I'm fascinated with all of them. Um, they all have their uniqueness, and um, it's a lot of fun to see. Um, so I can't really name one. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Haley. What class are you taking? I'm taking Automotive Tech 2 with Mr. Garrison. What made you decide to take BACC? It is basically it's given me the opportunities to expand what I love to do. It gives me a career vibe basically of like what I expect and what is expected of me when I go out to do actual work with jobs. Has BACC ever had a negative effect on you? It has a little bit because well being the only girl in a shop full of boys, they kind of give you the negative feeling of you don't belong in there with them. Like you belong what girls do normally, which is like cosmetology, nursing, and all that. But each year I prove them wrong, basically. Very fun to do. Do you have a good job outlook because of BCC? Uh, yes. I will be actually be sent out to Heller 4 in El Paso this coming week or next week to put my skills that I learned in the shop to use at the dealership there. And once I graduate, I will actually keep that job, and they will send me out to more jobs after college. What classes are you taking? Um, for, B for BACC only, or? For BACC. I'm taking graphic design and video production. What is your favorite part of your classes? I really love the freedom to design what we want, given a guided, um, are you taking any different classes next year, or are they the same ones? I'm thinking about um, going back to graphic design for two years. What class are you taking? I am taking cosmetology for BACC. Do you want your future job to be what you are taking right now? Yes, I plan on, you know, 
going forward and getting my cosmetology license and going back to Hair Masters, where I'm going right now, to get my barber license. Even if your career change choice is different, do you think BSC has prepared you? Absolutely. It has really made me more responsible and more time be able to more time management. Has BACC benefited you? Absolutely. I love it. I have made so many different friends from like Olympia and Tri Valley. Like you make so many different friends other than just field crafts. And you sounds like BACC is interesting. Yep. If you are interested, you should try it. check it out now. For your nightly news, I'm Haley and I am Hannah. If you might be interested, talk to your guidance counselor. Congrats to the football team on their run in the playoffs. We have stories on the team and dance in the works. We hope everybody has a safe and happy Thanksgiving. We will all see you soon for another edition of Your, your Nightly News. news.